Welcome everyone to another episode of Usual My Television Toy Showcase Channel. And if I'm sounding a little bit nasal, it's not just because I'm Australian and that's my accent a little flowy. Weather here has been hot, cold, hot, cold, and the cold night I went to bed with no shirt and woke up with the flu. Wonderful. So if my nose starts to sniffle a little bit, you know why. Ew. No one know. Guess what today is? Fan mail day. And this. Woohoo! This is all the way from Canada. Now I've never had a package from Canada and this is from subscriber Johnny. I'll put his details up on the screen. You can follow him on Instagram. Thank you so much Johnny. He kind of hinted to me like this box is huge but I've put the double packs as you can see back here so I kind of have a clue as to what I'm going to expect inside here. I didn't show you his address or anything. Oh, no, no. Anyway here we go. Oh Canada, oh Canada, what have we got here? Oh, look at this! What have we got? Now I can see this one obviously, let's put that knife down before I stab myself. This one, Ooh, sorry, that sign, it gets me every time. This is one of those action figures from the back there, the two pack that I could not get in this country because the online store completely sold out, never sold at retail. Oh, yes! If I can just get it out of the packet! Oh, dear God! <laughs> dun dun dun! Rebolt with the Carillion Hound. Everybody loves their dog. Oh yeah, fantastic. This works with that Force Link 2 gimmick. I might have it here. Funny enough, I do. Let's see what these guys say. I'm interested because I, I don't think I've ever heard these guys. My master, the hounds grow restless. They will never betray their master. These beasts are loyal to me. They are at my command. How about that? Now, does the doggy say anything? Let's have a look. I had to tap it back into gear. Pretty much what I'd expect from the. Yeah. All right, you can stop now. Awesome, awesome. I have been searching high and low for this one. Thank you so much, Johnny. This is man. Fantastic. It's gonna go up here with. Well, I'm gonna show you the other ones as well. There's Lando, and I think that is one of the Castle Guards. Yeah, it's a Castle Guard. Very cool. Why didn't they pack that Lando on an individual card? I think I know why. Because because the Vintage Collection has it coming out almost identical to that later in the year. It's almost almost like that one. The Darth Maul and Qui-Gon Jinn. Now the Darth Maul, amazingly, if you can get in there, it's not the same as one he's got. He's got legs, as we know, he was in Solo, robot legs. But that, that was a nice little tease that they did for us, and we were like, why did they put Maul in there? We know why now. Here is Rose and the two droids. Fantastic. If you've been watching Resistance, I think this little bad boy here, BB-9E, has been showing up. I think it is. I, I don't hear a reference of his name, but it looks exactly like it. And also, Chewie and Han in the mud. Very cool designs. You don't get many like this where they're all muddied and dirty. It's fantastic. First time I've seen that sort of stuff. Even the muck on Han's face. We're getting close. Have a look at the face on, on Han. They actually weathered his skin. Like, they usually weather the outfits and obviously... To either do the fur, but yeah, to do this, the face is unique. Very cool. And now adding to my collection. Yeah. There he is. Let's get him in focus. Lovely. Rebolt and the Carillion Hound. Fantastic. Here comes a little cage. Let me turn over the back. A little cage to put the dog in. Very nice. Use the force link. We did that. Awesome. And 
to the double packs there's only one more i have it on pre-order i paid for it in august of last year from the online store that sells star wars stuff in australia still waiting for that if you guys on the australian facebook pages know the company i'm talking about i won't mention their name but yeah still waiting still waiting so let's see what else johnny put in the box Ooh. what have we got here this i the rest of this is unknown i have no clue what it is a pure pure surprise they look they look like loose figures oh oh you know these guys oh yeah his head's twisted around in transit <laughs> c-3po excellent i've had these guys on the show before but oh princess leia i've got to do that so you get it in. there you go princess leia there you go there's so many there's heaps in here <laughs> let's have a look han solo his head's moved around in transit as well ah oh, is this the very cool it's not a death trooper is it it could be let me know in the comments and a classic imperial stormtrooper come on focus 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 there you go got the blue grills on the side these are the mystery minis we've had them before on the show i opened up a couple of the solo ones i have them still here no I've, I've moved them on and put it all on my black series stuff something else what could this be more mysteries <laughs> Captain Phasma, who I left out of my Women of Star Wars video. Shame on me. That's why you have to do research sometimes before you do a video where you have to explain things and talk about things. With YouTube, you don't want to be like bumbling through, forgetting names and wondering what the go is. There's Rose in the Imperial Disguise. Or the, the First Order Disguise. Finn! in the first order disguise <laughs> excellent yeah as i was saying researching if you're making a video for youtube do your research hey we're just talking about this guy bb9e That's some good detail on that for a little one very nice so these aren't just from the solo little mystery minis these are from the force awakens of oh, force awakens the last jedi there is Poe. Dashing young fella. Very good. The face of Star Wars. Ray. What I might have to do is just, just kind of like Kylo Ren's one, just slightly fix up that blade. Very cool. And finally, BB 8. <laughs> now, which way is the front? Only with his eye, I suppose. BB 8. Good detail on that. Very nice. Awesome. And another one. This one's red, so... Ah, oh, of course. It's a Praetorian Guard. I thought it was a Marvel figure. Individually wrapped. Hey, very nice. Very cool. A bubble head. <laughs> Excellent. And you know what this is? It's a Black Series figure. And it's one I don't own. <laughs> From one of the better films of the Disney franchise. Oh yeah. Oh minty fresh too. Case is good. It's Cassian Andor. Number 23. Very nice, very, very nice. Don't have this figure, but do now. Thank you so much, Johnny. Thank you for all the stuff you've done. Gone. Oh, wow. Thank you. Gonna have to find a spot for him up on the wall. The wall of Black Series. Hmm. 
for the time being. It's going to go off to the side. Thank you so much, Johnny. This has been an awesome fan mail unboxing. The mystery minis, I was not so expecting thousands of them. You've dropped him in too. Thank you so much. Cassie Nandor is now part of my collection. Go and give Johnny a follow on Instagram. Thank him. You'll often see him in comments in a lot of my videos, so thank you so much, Johnny. Much, much appreciated. This has been a fan mail unboxing. My name's Usual Mike, and you can follow me on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. If you'd like to send me some fan mail just like Johnny did, send me a direct message through the social medias and I'll hook you up with my address. You can post me something nice. Also, I've got some merch, so check that out. Put that up on the screen. Usual Mike says hit tap slap leaked and usual mic television t-shirts available in my red bubble store link in the description down below if you haven't done so already hit subscribe Ooh. tap that little bell for notifications slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one all the best